My name is Kate Ankatil and I'm the CEO of GDR Creative Intelligence. We're a London-based trend forecaster and we're going to look at the high street of the future, what retail will be like in the next three to five years. We're going to be doing three presentations a day at the Moor Pavilion at MAPIC. One will be on slow retail, one will be on fast retail and the hybrid store 2.0 of the future, and one will be on the high street of the future. And here are a couple of things that I'll be talking about within that 20 minute presentation. Concepts you haven't heard of yet, but soon will. Longevity stores, genetic testing spas, reputation cleanup stations, app lounges, where we train digital natives to organize their digital lives. M medicine, that's mobile medicine and biofeedback. We're already seeing some applications of brainwave use to train the mind, in this case towards focus, but it could be used to train kids out of um, attention deficit syndrome, could be used for relaxation purposes as part of spa services. I think spas in general are going to be moving towards much more functional offers. Use of telepresence will be interesting. We're seeing it already in banks. Here it is in a health clinic in America. In this case, you have separate units at the back of the store, which are private, where you can have one-to-one -one telepresence conferences with doctors, all for free. Longevity stores, where you assess genetic predisposition, advise on lifestyle, weight, and so on. We are seeing them beginning to arrive on the high street. There's one here in Belgium called Okinawa teaching people how to live longer essentially, selling them green tea and argon oil, something that I think has great application internationally. I've always felt that malls of the future could become like day and night schools, training people and being a real centre of the community. And here we have one, the Galleria Centre City in South Korea has nine classrooms and 600 offers of lessons, mostly for free, training people in everything from language to parenting skills. 3D printing does now exist as a store, in this case in Brussels, but we're starting to see it being available for food, organs, all sorts of things. My personal prediction and my personal favourite would be 3D printing of shoes in the future. Holographic store staff we're already seeing. There's one here in the Duane Reed uh, store in Wall Street, America. We've also seen them in airports. So I hope that you'll be able to join us at the Moor Pavilion, where we'll be talking about slow commerce and community, fast retail, the store of the future, and a few things I've touched on just here, which is we're calling this science fact future retail.